Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Morning Markets on Wednesday, the 3rd of April. It's early in the quarter, so we're going to spend some time today reflecting on revisions to growth, the optimistic outlook for growth, and what it may mean for inflation outcomes globally. So it's worth reflecting that we began the year with downbeat forecasts for growth across Europe, China and the UK. And in fact, a recession was expected to last and protract through this year in both Europe and the UK. But so early in the year, we've seen optimistic revisions to forecast for growth across China, Europe and the UK, such that we can say global synchronised optimism has now been a key theme which has developed early in the year. And this has helped buoy equity prices, particularly and delivered strong outcomes for portfolios in quarter one. However, such revisions to global growth are not without consequences. What we have seen is material revisions to expectations for interest rate cuts across the US, Europe and the UK. We began this year expecting around about six cuts in the US, that is interest rate cuts of around about 1.5 percentage points in the policy rate, taking it down below 4%. That was the market expectations only three months ago. Markets now only expect over two rate cuts, so just over 0.5 percentage points. And the reason for this has been stickier inflation outcomes in the US. But to put into context the diver divergence we're seeing in inflation outcomes, since July last year, US CPI has remained flat at 3.2 percentage points. But in that time, German CPI has fallen from 6.2% to 2.2%. So what we're beginning to see, not just is global synchronised optimism about growth, but inflation divergence. We're seeing real signs of disinflation continuing in Europe, broad across Europe, Italy, France and Germany, and the UK is expected to catch down to this and see inflation close to 2% this quarter. However, the US has flatlined, and in fact, inflation momentum indicates that we may actually see some higher inflation prints as we go into the back end of this quarter. And this is driving global asset prices. So it's not just that expectations for interest rate cuts in the US have risen somewhat. They've also risen in the UK and in Europe. That is, less or fewer interest rate cuts are expected in these markets, despite the fact that inflation is expected to fall back to target somewhat in Europe and the UK. But all of this is underpinned by renewed optimism on growth, and that is what is driving global equity markets. And data we've seen over the last few days backs this up. PMIs, these leading activity indicators for uh, growth in individual markets, are all coming in stronger than has been expected. Japan, China, Germany, Italy, France, and the UK is expected to catch up. And yesterday, the US saw another beat on its services and manufacturing data. So all in, things look good. Activity data is strong, and this is what has been reflected in equity prices over the previous quarter. However, markets are going to have to come to terms with the fact that interest rate cuts are not going to be the economic tailwind that was expected only a few months ago, and that we are going to have to rely more on private corporations to continue to employ and grow their workforces to sustain the aggregate levels of employment. That's all for today, but please join us tomorrow for further market updates. Thank you.